Hello and welcome to Michigan Time. I'm your host, Alexander Rollick, and we've got a great show for you tonight. We begin tonight with a brand new segment in New York with correspondent Jackie Berger. Hot off the grill with Jackie Berger. Jackie, how's NYC? Ah, yes, New York City, the city that never sleeps because it's full of narcoleptics. Well, it's been really great. I've had a true New York experience. I watched someone pee on a subway. I got flipped off by a rando. And I had a 45-minute conversation with a homeless man. Did you know that the Earth is flat? I guess Julian really is onto something there. Who knew? Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the round Earth conspiracy, though I could go on for days. I'm here to talk about director of the Office of Management and Budget and father who isn't mad, just disappointed, Mick Mulvaney. As part of Trump's 2019 budget, Mulvaney plans on moving the World Trade Center health care plan from the National Institute of Occupational Health and Safety to a new department. Now, audience, let me ask you, where were you when you first watched Jon Stewart? Were you at a bar drinking whiskey while dancing to Bruno Mars's Uptown Funk? Or maybe you were with your parents after a very hectic and controversial Thanksgiving dinner at your Aunt Valerie's house. I know where I was. I was in the basement of my home with my brother, learning about bed bug cocks. And my life was changed forever by that lesson in insect reproduction. <sighs> my life really changed that day. My point is, Jon Stewart had such a profound impact on me. I mean, the reason I'm here, the reason why all of us are here, is because of him. And what's important to Jon Stewart is what is important to us. And you know what's important to Jon Stewart? 9-11 first responders. These first responders are true American heroes. They are patriots who put aside their own health and well-being in order to help other citizens. And now, their health care could very well be threatened. Rick Mulvaney plans on moving the health care program to the National Institute of Health, and the shift in departments could create some serious problems for the 80,000 people covered by this system. It doesn't make sense to move the program. It worked so well in the past, it's not broken. So why fix it? I mean, we don't even fix the things that are broken. The Electoral College didn't work the last two of the five elections, and we never bothered to fix that. 90% of Michigan roads are literally just composed of potholes, but we never fixed that. And now we're restructuring a program that has worked so well in the past and doesn't need any changes. And we're moving the healthcare plan to a new department. The department, it's just going to create unnecessary burden on some Americans. Luckily, luckily, in order for this proposal to pass, it would require congressional action. And there is bipartisan support for shutting this proposal down. But just in case, I encourage all of you, you over there and you over there, to contact your local congressman and tell them to leave the World Trade Center health care plan alone. It's what Jon Stewart would want. We're fighting for first responders' right to adequate and efficient health care. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our independence. Never, never mind, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just being told today is not Independence Day. It's um, March 10th, so we're celebrating March 10th. Um, anyways, that's all I've got. I got to go purposely jaywalk in front of some people. That way I can tell them, hey, I'm walking here. Forget about it. Back to you, Alex.